Hi YouTube, today I will show you how to set up your CTE blade or Orange San Francisco for optimal performance. Uh, in order to do this you will need to have a rooted phone and uh, on how to root your phone you can check out other YouTube videos. I'm currently running uh, Japanese Jellyfish Release 9 by Cult Cafe. So the first thing we will need to do in order to increase our performance is to overclock. And to do this we will need a widget from Market. It's called Overclock Widget and it's free, so just download it. Once you downloaded it, we can put it on your home screen. There it is, overclock widget. Just click it once. Uh, we won't change the clock speed here since we will go into advanced settings. Here you can see on the top it says screen on frequency setting. Since we will only use the maximum performance when the screen is on, we will only change the max frequency here. As you can see, it also says screen off frequency. Uh, since we ain't gonna use the phone extensively when the screen is off, we can just let the default settings remain as before. So we click this max setting and we get a bunch of different numbers. Uh, I'm currently running my phone at 691 megahertz and it's running stable. Uh, I've also heard that 710 megahertz is a good clock speed. You can start by trying with 710 and if your phone freezes you can just go down to 691. I wouldn't recommend going higher than 710. I haven't heard much from people on the internet that's got their phone stable when going higher than 710. So start with 710 and uh, work your way down till your phone is stable. Uh, if your phone would freeze, what you do is that you take your back cover up, off, remove the battery, put the battery back in and reboot the phone and uh, if you haven't checked this box where it says auto start on boot then you will be running at the standard clock speeds so wait to check this box until you know that you are running a stable clock speed once this is done you can remove the widget from the home screen if you would like. Uh, so the next thing we will do is to change the heap size. We'll go into this application called the VM heap tool. You can get this from market also, it's free. Here you can read what heap is. I'm not going into that since you can read it yourself. The standard heap size is 24M and the optimal recommended heap size for our phone is 32M. And you can see when you press it, it already says that 32 is recommended. So that is the best setting. Uh, you won't get any more performance by going higher or lower. So 32 is the optimum. Once this is done, your phone is set for optimum performance and uh, we're done. Thank you for watching.